Well, this module we'll be seeing about product with the first P of, you know, marketing mix, that is product. Now, a new product development is the starting stage of any product. Development of original products, product improvements, product modifications and new brands through the firm's own R&D efforts is generally what happens when it comes to new product. Now, before we start designing a new product, we have to decide what is the type of segment we are going to cater to the need. Of what particular segment is the product being made for and which is our target market. Now, take for example, you are main manufacturing uh, huggies. Now, that is for a particular segment of child segment. But what is the market? That is the place where you are going to sell it. That is a second factor. You know, you don't only decide which is the product. Product is Haggis. Now you have to decide where you are going to sell it. That is the market, the place. Okay, that becomes your target market. Okay, I'll be selling it to Indian customers. Then India is my marketplace for that. Now then comes the part, third part which is in deciding about the pricing. Of course, the last is a promotion. Now we'll presently continue with this. The first part is a product development. Now, generally, what are the major stages in a new product development? Now, idea generation and screening. Now, you are creating an idea that I might come up with an idea of providing a particular type of pen, which also has got a camera which can be used as a USB. So that is an idea which came into my mind. Ah, why can't I use pen for other purposes also? It is an already existing pen, but I'm going to manufacture a new, product, new product where I'll say I'll be fitting it as a camera to that. Or maybe any other third edition. Let us say music sound to a pen. Whenever I click, there will be a music sound. Now that is my idea which is being generated. Now screening here, it is a group of panel or the research and division analysis wing sits together and puts off a brainstorming station or a focus group discussion is being kept on that. How can we go for any other benefits from this particular? Let us say my idea has been generated with regards to a pen which clicks and it gives music. Now, when a brainstorming, after the brainstorming, we say, why don't we go for a music and a uh, videographic cameras sort of thing along with that pen, multi-utility pen. But now that is the screening initial phase where we have decided. Now we have to decide which is the segment we are going to produce, who is going to purchase this, who wants to purchase this particular product. That is the basic idea generation and screening. Now once we decide on the screening part, we come up with a customer, let us say premium executives working in a top level or media people that might be you know, for spying work, they might be using that pen as an example. Now you have a concept, now you have to develop that concept and do a little bit of testing. Marketing strategies, again you have to decide what are the marketing strategies that belongs to, what will be the price, what will be the color of the product, what will be the size of the product, what will it, I mean, how you will promote it. Those are the marketing strategies. Now, analysis, of course, you have to decide what will be my revenue with regards to the my investment. Now, product development, how I'm going to develop this particular product. And lastly, test marketing and commercialization. This is the phases, major stages wherein new products are being developed. 